Hey everyone welcome back to the channel. In this video I'll show you how to download and install VMware Workstation Pro 17 completely free for personal use. With VMware you can install and use Windows, Linux and other OS on the same PC. VMware has officially made Workstation Pro 17 free for non-commercial use, means if you're using it at home or for learning you don't have to pay. Before we start I have a request, please like the video and subscribe to support my small channel. To get the installer you'll need a Broadcom account. First of all open your browser and search for Broadcom. Open first website. This will take you to the Broadcom registration page. If you don't already have an account, create one with your Gmail. Click register. Enter your details, verify your email, and complete the setup. Once your account is created, you have to sign into the Broadcom website with same Gmail and password. After logging in, open the first link from this video description. Once you are on the website, click VMware Workstation Pro for Windows. Choose the latest release, which at this time is version 17.6.4. Now on this page click on conditions, come back and check the box. Now the download button will activate. Click on it. You might be asked to provide a few more details for verification. Just fill in the form quickly and hit submit. It will send you back. Again click on download button and your download will begin. When the file is downloaded, now run the installer. Setup wizard will open. Homotil click next, accept the license agreement. Select your install location. Finally click install. The installation doesn't take long. Once it's done, click Finish and you'll see the VMware Workstation Pro icon on your desktop. Double-click the icon to open the program. And this is the main interface of program. From here you can start creating and running virtual machines right away. If you'd like to learn how to set up virtual machines or install different operating systems inside VMware, check out the tutorials on my channel. I've also added useful links in the description below. If this guide helped, drop a like, subscribe for more tech tips, and feel free to leave your questions in the comments.